Hamsters are beloved pets for many households due to their small size, playful nature, and ease of care. While they may be low maintenance compared to other pets, it is still important to provide them with a clean and safe living environment. In this article, we will discuss tips and guidelines for caring for and cleaning a hamster cage. Choosing the right cage The first step to providing a healthy living environment for your hamster is to choose the right cage. The cage should be large enough to accommodate your hamster's needs and provide enough space for them to move around and play. A minimum of 24 inches by 12 inches is recommended for a single hamster. The cage should be made of durable materials, such as plastic or wire, and have a secure top to prevent escape. A solid plastic bottom is recommended, as it is easier to clean and prevents bedding from spilling out. Bedding The bedding is an essential part of your hamster's living environment. Choose a bedding that is safe and comfortable for your hamster. Avoid cedar and pine shavings, as they contain oils that can be harmful to your pet's respiratory system. Instead, opt for paper or aspen shavings, which are safe and absorbent. Spread a layer of bedding at least 2 inches deep on the bottom of the cage to provide insulation and comfort for your hamster. Replace the bedding once a week or more frequently if it becomes soiled. Food and water. Provide your hamster with fresh food and water daily. A high-quality hamster food mix can be purchased at pet stores or online. This mix should contain a variety of seeds, grains, and pellets to provide a balanced diet for your pet. Provide your hamster with fresh water daily. Use a water bottle with a metal sipper tube to prevent spillage and keep the water clean. Toys and Accessories Hamsters are playful animals and need plenty of toys and accessories to keep them entertained. Provide your hamster with a variety of chew toys, tunnels, and exercise wheels to keep them active and engaged. A hideaway or igloo is also essential, as it provides a safe and secure place for your hamster to rest. These can be purchased at pet stores or online. Cleaning and Maintenance It is important to clean your hamster's cage regularly to prevent the buildup of bacteria and odors. A full cleaning should be done at least once a month, while spot cleaning should be done as needed. Remove your hamster and all toys and accessories from the cage before cleaning. Dispose of the old bedding and wash the cage with warm, soapy water. Rinse thoroughly and allow to dry completely before adding fresh bedding and returning your hamster to the cage. Spot cleaning can be done as needed by removing any soiled bedding and replacing it with fresh bedding. In conclusion, Hamsters are low-maintenance pets that require a clean and safe living environment to thrive. By choosing the right cage, providing comfortable bedding, fresh food and water. Plenty of toys and accessories, and maintaining a regular cleaning schedule, you can ensure that your hamster is happy and healthy. Here are a few additional tips to help you care for and maintain your hamster's cage. Keep the cage in a cool, dry area away from direct sunlight and drafts. Monitor your hamster's behavior and health daily. Look for signs of illness, such as lack of appetite, lethargy, or diarrhea. 
Provide your hamster with plenty of exercise opportunities. An exercise ball or playpen can be a great way to let your hamster explore and play outside of their cage. Use unscented cleaning products to avoid irritating your hamster's respiratory system. Avoid overcrowding the cage. If you have multiple hamsters, provide each with their own living space. By following these guidelines and paying attention to your hamster's needs, you can ensure that your furry friend stays healthy and happy for years to come. Hamsters are sensitive to extreme temperatures, so it is important to keep their cage in a cool, dry area away from direct sunlight and drafts. Ideally, the temperature in the room should be between 65 and 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Direct sunlight can cause the temperature inside the cage to rise quickly, which can lead to dehydration and heat stroke in your hamster. Additionally, drafts can cause your hamster to become chilled, which can lead to illness. When choosing a location for your hamster's cage, consider placing it in a room that is frequently used, such as the living room or family room. This will allow your hamster to be a part of the family and interact with you and other household members. If you live in an area with extreme temperatures, such as a very hot or cold climate, you may need to take extra precautions to ensure your hamster stays comfortable. Consider using a small fan or space heater to regulate the temperature in the room, or move the cage to a cooler or warmer area of the house as needed. By keeping the cage in a cool, dry area away from direct sunlight and drafts, you can help your hamster stay healthy and comfortable in their living environment. Hamsters are active animals that require plenty of exercise to stay healthy and happy. In the wild, hamsters run several miles a night in search of food and social interaction. In captivity, it is important to provide your hamster with opportunities to exercise and explore. One of the easiest ways to provide your hamster with exercise is through the use of an exercise wheel. Choose a solid wheel that is appropriately sized for your hamster. A wheel that is too small can cause spinal problems, while a wheel that is too large can be difficult for your hamster to use. Another option for exercise is an exercise ball or playpen. These allow your hamster to explore and play outside of their cage while still being safely contained. Be sure to supervise your hamster during playtime to ensure they do not escape or get injured. Creating a suitable environment for koi fish is essential for their health and well-being. Maintaining proper water quality is important, but it's also necessary to keep the surrounding air at the right humidity level to ensure the fish thrive. Here are some methods to help increase the humidity around your koi pond. Use a misting system. One effective way to add humidity to the air around your koi pond is by installing a misting system. They are also suitable for temporary use, such as during hot weather, when humidity levels can drop significantly. These systems spray a fine mist of water into the air, which increases the humidity. Misting systems are available in different sizes and styles, so you can choose one that suits your needs and budget. Install a waterfall. Installing a waterfall in your koi pond can help to increase the humidity around it. 
waterfalls create a lot of moisture as the water flows down the rocks and into the pond, which can help to keep the air around the pond moist. Additionally, waterfalls can help to oxygenate the water in the pond, which is essential for the health of your koi fish. Use a humidifier. Using a humidifier is another option to increase the humidity around your koi pond. Humidifiers work by releasing moisture into the air, which can help to keep the air around your pond at the ideal humidity level. However, humidifiers require an electrical source, so it may not be a suitable option for all ponds. Plant vegetation around the pond. Planting vegetation around your koi pond can help to increase the humidity in the air. Plants release moisture through a process called transpiration, which can help to keep the air around the pond humid. Additionally, plants can provide shade for your koi fish, which can help to keep the water in the pond at a cooler temperature. Using a humidifier is another option to increase the humidity around your koi pond. Add a fountain. Fountains can help to increase the humidity around your koi pond by releasing moisture into the air. Like waterfalls, fountains create a lot of moisture as the water flows through the fountain and into the pond. Additionally, fountains can add a decorative element to your koi pond, which can enhance its visual appeal. By using one or more of these methods, you can help to increase the humidity around your koi pond and create a more suitable environment for your fish. However, it's important to keep in mind that excessive humidity can create an environment for mold and mildew to grow, so be sure to monitor the humidity level around your pond regularly. Using a misting system is an effective way to increase humidity around your koi pond. Misting systems are designed to release a fine mist of water into the air, which can raise the humidity level around the pond. The system is typically composed of a series of nozzles that spray a fine mist of water into the air when activated. These nozzles can be positioned around the pond to ensure maximum coverage. However, it's important to keep in mind that excessive humidity can create an environment for mold and mildew to grow, so be sure to monitor the humidity level around your pond regularly. Misting systems are available in various sizes and styles, including portable and permanent installations. Portable misting systems are ideal for smaller ponds and are easy to set up and operate. They are also suitable for temporary use, such as during hot weather, when humidity levels can drop significantly. Permanent misting systems are designed for larger ponds and are installed on a permanent basis. They are usually connected to a water source and require a power source to operate. When using a misting system, it's essential to monitor the humidity level around your pond regularly. The ideal humidity level for koi fish is around 70%, and exceeding this level can create an environment for mold and mildew to grow. Additionally, it's important to use a clean water source to prevent the buildup of bacteria and algae. Misting systems are an excellent way to add humidity to the air around your koi pond, which can help to create a more suitable environment for your fish. However, it's important to choose a system that is appropriate for the size of your pond and to monitor the humidity level regularly to ensure your fish remain healthy and happy. Installing a waterfall in your koi pond is another effective way to increase the humidity around it. Waterfalls create a lot of moisture as the water flows down the rocks and into the pond, which can help to keep the air around the pond moist. Additionally, the sound of the waterfall can create a relaxing atmosphere for both you and your fish. 
When installing a waterfall, it's essential to consider the size of your pond and the volume of water required to create an adequate flow. It's important to ensure that the waterfall is positioned correctly to maximize its impact on the humidity level around the pond. If your pond is relatively small, a small waterfall will suffice, but for larger ponds, a more substantial waterfall may be necessary. To maintain the quality of the water in your pond, it's important to keep the waterfall clean and free of debris. Algae can also accumulate on the rocks over time, which can make the waterfall less effective in increasing the humidity level around the pond. Regular cleaning and maintenance of the waterfall can help to ensure that it continues to provide the benefits of increasing the humidity level and adding to the aesthetic appeal of your pond. In summary, installing a waterfall in your koi pond is an effective way to increase the humidity around it. Waterfalls not only help to add moisture to the air but also provide a relaxing atmosphere for both you and your fish. When installing a waterfall, it's important to consider the size of your pond and to keep it clean and well-maintained to ensure its effectiveness. Planting vegetation around your koi pond is an effective way to increase the humidity level around it. Plants release moisture through a process called transpiration, which can help to create a more humid environment. Additionally, plants can provide shade, which can help to regulate the temperature around the pond and reduce the amount of evaporation. When choosing vegetation for your pond, it's essential to select plants that can thrive in a wet environment. Aquatic plants, such as water lilies and lotus, are an excellent choice, as they can grow in the shallow water around the pond. Additionally, marginal plants, such as irises and rushes, can grow in the damp soil around the pond and provide a natural transition from the water to the surrounding landscape. To maintain the health of the plants, it's important to ensure that they receive adequate sunlight and water. It's also essential to prune and remove any dead or dying plants regularly to prevent the buildup of debris in the pond, which can negatively impact the water quality and increase the risk of disease for your koi fish. Using a humidifier is another way to increase the humidity level around your koi pond. Humidifiers work by releasing water vapor into the air, which can help to create a more humid environment around the pond. As dogs age, they may experience pain and discomfort in their joints and muscles, similar to humans. Massage therapy can be a helpful tool in reducing pain and increasing mobility for older dogs. In this article, we will explore the benefits of dog massage and techniques you can use to help your senior dog feel more comfortable. Benefits of Dog Massage Dog massage therapy can provide numerous benefits for your senior dog, including Reducing pain, massage can help to increase circulation and reduce inflammation, which can alleviate pain and discomfort in your dog's joints and muscles. Improving flexibility, regular massage can help to improve your dog's flexibility and range of motion, making it easier for them to move around comfortably. Reducing stress and anxiety, massage therapy can help to reduce stress and anxiety in dogs, promoting relaxation and a sense of calm. Strengthening the bond between you and your dog, massaging your dog can help to strengthen the bond between you and your pet, providing a positive and loving interaction. Techniques for Dog Massage Here are some techniques for dog massage that you can use to help your senior dog feel more comfortable. Gentle stroking, 
start by using a gentle stroking motion along your dog's back, moving from their neck to their tail. Use slow and gentle strokes, applying slight pressure to areas that feel tight or sore. Effleurage, use a technique called effleurage, which involves light circular strokes with your fingertips, to help relax your dog's muscles. Start at the top of the back and move your fingers in a circular motion, gradually working your way down to the tail. Petrisage, this technique involves kneading the muscles, similar to how you would knead bread dough. Gently press your fingers into your dog's muscles and knead in a circular motion. Friction, use your thumbs to apply pressure to the muscles on either side of your dog's spine, moving in a circular motion. This technique can help to release tension in the muscles. Stretching, gently stretch your dog's limbs, starting with their front legs and working your way to their hind legs. Hold each stretch for a few seconds, being careful not to overextend the limbs. Things to consider when massaging your dog When massaging your senior dog, it's essential to be mindful of their comfort level. Pay attention to their body language and be gentle and patient with them. Here are some things to consider. Start slowly, introduce massage therapy gradually, starting with short sessions and gradually increasing the time as your dog becomes more comfortable. Be mindful of sensitive areas, be gentle around areas that may be sensitive, such as the spine, joints, and hips. Avoid using too much pressure, use gentle pressure and avoid using too much force or pressure when massaging your dog. Watch for signs of discomfort. If your dog shows signs of discomfort, such as yelping or pulling away, stop the massage immediately. In conclusion, massage therapy can be a helpful tool in reducing pain and increasing mobility for older dogs. By using gentle techniques and being mindful of your dog's comfort level, you can help your senior dog feel more comfortable and enjoy a better quality of life. Always consult with your veterinarian before starting any new treatments or therapies for your pet. One of the primary benefits of massage therapy for senior dogs is reducing pain. As dogs age, they may develop arthritis or other joint and muscle conditions that cause discomfort and pain. Massage can help increase circulation to the affected areas, reducing inflammation and alleviating pain. By working on specific areas of the body, massage therapy can also help to release tension in the muscles, providing further relief from pain and discomfort. Additionally, the relaxing nature of massage can help to promote the release of endorphins, which are natural painkillers, further reducing pain for your senior dog. In addition to reducing pain, massage therapy can also improve flexibility for senior dogs. As dogs age, they may become less active, which can lead to stiff joints and reduced flexibility. Massage can help to increase range of motion in the joints, allowing for greater flexibility and mobility. By focusing on specific muscle groups and applying pressure in a gentle and controlled manner, massage can help to loosen tight muscles and increase flexibility. Improved flexibility can also help to reduce the risk of injury, which is especially important for senior dogs who may be more prone to falls or other accidents. Regular massage therapy can help to maintain your senior dog's mobility and flexibility, helping them to maintain a higher quality of life. Effleurage is a massage technique that is commonly used in massage therapy for senior dogs. Effleurage involves long, sweeping strokes that are used to warm up the muscles and increase circulation. 
This technique is often used at the beginning of a massage session to help the dog relax and prepare for deeper massage work. Effleurage is typically done using a light to moderate amount of pressure, and is performed in the direction of the heart to help improve circulation. Effleurage is a gentle and soothing technique that can help to calm nervous or anxious senior dogs. It is also an effective way to warm up the muscles and prepare them for deeper massage work, such as trigger point therapy or deep tissue massage. By increasing circulation and warming up the muscles, effleurage can help to promote healing and reduce muscle tension, leading to improved mobility and overall comfort for your senior dog. It is important to start slowly when beginning massage therapy for senior dogs. This is especially true if your dog is new to massage or has any underlying health conditions. Starting with gentle, simple strokes and gradually building up to deeper massage work can help your senior dog adjust to the massage process and avoid any discomfort. When beginning massage therapy, it is important to pay attention to your dog's body language and behavior. If your dog appears uncomfortable or restless, it may be a sign that the massage pressure is too intense or that the massage should be stopped. Be sure to communicate with your senior dog and take breaks as needed to ensure their comfort and safety. Starting slowly with massage therapy can also help to establish a routine for your senior dog. By incorporating massage therapy into their daily routine, your dog may come to look forward to and even enjoy their massage sessions, leading to increased relaxation and comfort over time. It is important to watch for signs of discomfort when performing massage therapy on your senior dog. Even with gentle pressure and slow movements, some dogs may experience discomfort or pain during a massage. As dog owners, we all want to keep our furry friends happy and healthy. One great way to do this is by giving them regular massages. Not only can massages help your dog feel more relaxed and comfortable, but they can also provide a number of other health benefits. Here are some tips for massaging your dog to help reduce stress and tension. Get your dog in the right position. When it comes to massaging your dog, it's important to choose a position that is comfortable for both you and your pup. Many dogs enjoy lying on their sides or bellies while being massaged, but some may prefer to stand or sit. Experiment with different positions to see what works best for your dog. Use gentle, slow strokes. When massaging your dog, it's important to use gentle, slow strokes. Start by placing your hands on your dog's back and using long, sweeping strokes to work your way down towards their tail. Avoid applying too much pressure, especially around sensitive areas like the spine and joints. Focus on areas that hold tension, just like humans, dogs can carry tension in different parts of their bodies. Some common areas to focus on during a massage include the shoulders, neck, and hips. Use circular motions with your fingers to gently massage these areas, being careful not to apply too much pressure. Incorporate aromatherapy. Aromatherapy can be a great way to enhance your dog's massage experience. Lavender and chamomile are two popular scents that can help to calm and relax your dog. You can use essential oils, candles, or sprays to incorporate these scents into your massage routine. Use a soothing touch. Dogs respond well to a soothing touch, so it's important to maintain a calm and gentle energy throughout the massage. 
Speak to your dog in a soft and reassuring tone, and avoid sudden movements that could startle them. Pay attention to your dog's cues, as you massage your dog, pay attention to their body language and cues. If they seem uncomfortable or restless, it may be a sign that they've had enough for the day. On the other hand, if they're relaxed and seem to be enjoying the massage, you can continue for a bit longer. In conclusion, massaging your dog can be a great way to help reduce stress and tension in their bodies. By following these tips, you can create a relaxing and enjoyable massage experience for your furry friend. Remember to always be gentle and attentive to your dog's needs and enjoy the benefits of this bonding experience. Here are some additional tips for massaging your dog to help reduce stress and anxiety. Use a calming scent. Consider using a calming essential oil, such as lavender or chamomile, to help your dog relax during the massage. Massage the ears. The ears are a particularly sensitive area for dogs, and massaging them can help to release tension and promote relaxation. Use long, sweeping strokes. When massaging your dog, use long, sweeping strokes that follow the direction of the fur. This can help to increase circulation and promote relaxation. Pay attention to your dog's body language. Watch for signs that your dog is uncomfortable or in pain, such as vocalization, panting, or trying to move away. If your dog shows any of these signs, stop the massage and try again later. Massage the paws. The paws are another sensitive area for dogs, and massaging them can help to promote relaxation and reduce stress. Remember, regular massage can be a great way to bond with your dog and help them feel more relaxed and comfortable in their daily life. If you have any concerns about your dog's health or well-being, be sure to consult with your veterinarian. Getting your dog in the right position for a massage can help to ensure that they are comfortable and relaxed during the process. Here are some tips for positioning your dog for a massage. Choose a quiet, calm area. Find a quiet, calm area where your dog can relax and feel comfortable during the massage. Avoid areas with lots of noise or distractions, such as the living room or a busy street. Use a comfortable surface. Choose a comfortable surface for your dog to lie on during the massage such as a blanket or a soft rug. This can help to reduce pressure on their joints and make the massage more comfortable. Allow your dog to choose their position. Let your dog choose their own position for the massage. Some dogs prefer to lie on their side or stomach, while others prefer to sit or stand. Choose the position that your dog is most comfortable in. Use treats and positive reinforcement. Use treats and positive reinforcement to encourage your dog to stay in position during the massage. This can help to keep them calm and focused on the massage. Remember, the most important thing is to make sure that your dog is comfortable and relaxed during the massage. If they seem uncomfortable or anxious, try adjusting their position or taking a break to help them calm down. When massaging your dog, it's important to focus on areas that hold tension and stress. Here are some areas to focus on during a dog massage. Neck and shoulders. Many dogs carry tension in their neck and shoulders, especially if they're prone to anxiety or stress. Gently massage these areas, using circular motions with your fingers and thumbs. Back. The back is another area that can hold tension in dogs, especially if they have a tendency to jump or play rough. 
Use your palms and fingertips to gently massage the muscles along your dog's spine. Hips and legs. Dogs that are active or have arthritis can often have tension in their hips and legs. Use gentle pressure with your fingertips or the palm of your hand to massage these areas, being careful not to apply too much pressure. Paws. Dogs use their paws all the time, so it's important to pay attention to them during a massage. Gently massage each paw, using your fingers to apply pressure to the pads in between the toes. Ears and face. Some dogs carry tension in their ears and face, especially if they're prone to anxiety or fear. Gently massage these areas using circular motions with your fingers. Remember to always start with a light touch and gradually increase the pressure as your dog becomes more comfortable. Saggy face dogs, such as basset hounds and bloodhounds, have a distinctive and lovable look, but they require special care and attention to keep them healthy and happy. If you're considering bringing a saggy faced dog into your life, it's important to understand the unique challenges that come with their care. In this article, we'll explore some tips and tricks for how to care for and nurture your saggy faced dog. Keep the face clean and dry. One of the biggest challenges with saggy faced dogs is keeping their faces clean and dry. The skin folds around their eyes and mouth can trap moisture, dirt, and bacteria, leading to skin irritation and infections. To prevent this, it's important to regularly clean your dog's face with a damp cloth or baby wipe, paying special attention to the folds around their eyes and mouth. Be sure to dry their face thoroughly afterwards to prevent moisture buildup. Regular Grooming Saggy-faced dogs often have long, floppy ears that require regular grooming to prevent ear infections and other ear-related problems. Make sure to clean your dog's ears at least once a week, using a dog-specific ear cleaning solution and a soft cloth or cotton ball. Additionally, trim the hair around their ears to prevent matting and tangles, which can also trap moisture and bacteria. Exercise and Playtime Just like any other dog, saggy-faced dogs need regular exercise and playtime to keep them healthy and happy. However, because of their unique facial structure, they may have trouble breathing and overheating during strenuous activity. It's important to provide your dog with plenty of opportunities for gentle exercise, such as short walks or playtime in a fenced-in yard. Avoid overexerting your dog in hot weather, and be sure to provide plenty of water and shade during outdoor playtime. Regular Vet Visits Saggy faced dogs are prone to a variety of health issues, including eye and ear infections, skin irritations, and respiratory problems. Regular visits to the vet can help catch these issues early and prevent more serious health problems down the road. Be sure to schedule regular checkups and vaccinations and notify your vet if you notice any changes in your dog's behavior or health. Diet and Nutrition Proper nutrition is essential for all dogs, but it's especially important for saggy-faced dogs. Because of their unique facial structure, they may have trouble eating and drinking and are prone to choking and digestive problems. Choose high-quality, soft foods that are easy for your dog to eat and digest, and avoid giving them bones or other hard, chewy treats that can cause choking. Additionally, make sure your dog has access to plenty of fresh water, and monitor their eating and drinking habits to ensure they're getting the nutrition they need. In conclusion, caring for a saggy-faced dog requires extra attention and care 
but it's well worth the effort. With a little extra love and attention, you can keep your furry friend healthy, happy, and thriving for years to come. Regular grooming is essential for maintaining the health and appearance of a dog with a sagging face. The folds and wrinkles in the skin can collect dirt, bacteria, and debris, which can cause skin irritation, infections, and other health problems if left unattended. To groom a dog with a sagging face, start by gently wiping the folds and wrinkles with a damp cloth to remove any debris or dirt. Be careful not to use too much force or rub too hard, as this can cause irritation or damage to the skin. Next, use a dog-specific grooming brush to gently brush the coat, being sure to pay extra attention to the areas around the eyes, nose, and mouth. Use a comb to carefully work through any tangles or mats in the fur. It is important to keep the face area clean and dry. If the dog has excessive drooling or tears, use a clean, damp cloth to wipe away any excess moisture. This will help prevent the buildup of bacteria and prevent skin irritation. Regular baths are also important for maintaining the hygiene of a dog with a sagging face. Use a mild, dog-specific shampoo and be sure to rinse the fur thoroughly to avoid leaving any residue. It is also recommended to avoid getting water in the dog's ears, as this can cause infections. Finally, keep an eye out for any signs of skin irritation or infection, such as redness, swelling, or discharge. If you notice any of these symptoms, take your dog to a veterinarian for treatment. Overall, regular grooming and hygiene practices are essential for maintaining the health and well-being of a dog with a sagging face. With proper care and attention, these dogs can live happy and healthy lives. Regular vet visits are an important part of caring for and nurturing a dog with a saggy face. It is recommended to take your dog to the vet at least once a year for a checkup, but for dogs with saggy faces, it is recommended to visit the vet more frequently. This is because dogs with saggy faces are more prone to skin infections, eye infections, and dental problems. During these visits, the vet will examine your dog's overall health and well-being. They will also check for any signs of infections, allergies, or other issues that may require treatment. Your vet may also recommend regular cleaning of your dog's skin folds and eyes to prevent infections. Additionally, regular dental checkups are important for dogs with saggy faces, as they are more prone to dental issues such as periodontal disease. Your vet may recommend a dental cleaning or other treatment to keep your dog's teeth and gums healthy. Overall, regular vet visits are crucial in maintaining the health and well-being of a dog with a saggy face. It is important to follow your vet's recommendations and to keep up with any necessary treatments or medications to ensure your dog stays happy and healthy. Diet and nutrition play a critical role in the health and well-being of dogs, especially those with saggy faces. Here are some tips to ensure your dog's diet is meeting their nutritional needs. Choose high-quality dog food. Look for dog food brands that use high-quality ingredients and are specially formulated for your dog's age, size, and breed. Make sure the food contains adequate amounts of protein, fat, 
and carbohydrates to meet your dog's daily nutritional needs. Avoid table scraps. While it can be tempting to feed your dog table scraps, many human foods can be harmful to dogs. Stick to feeding your dog dog food and treats that are specifically formulated for them. Monitor portion sizes. Overfeeding your dog can lead to weight gain, which can exacerbate the sagging of their face. Use measuring cups or a kitchen scale to ensure you are feeding your dog the appropriate amount of food. Provide fresh water. Make sure your dog always has access to clean, fresh water. This is especially important for dogs with sagging faces, as they may be more prone to developing infections and other health problems. Consider supplements. Certain supplements, such as glucosamine and chondroitin, can help support joint health in dogs. Maintaining a healthy weight is crucial for the overall well-being of our furry friends. Whether it's a dog or a cat, being overweight or underweight can lead to a host of health problems. If your pet is struggling to maintain a healthy weight, here are some tips to help them achieve their ideal weight. Consult with your veterinarian. The first step in helping your pet achieve their ideal weight is to consult with your veterinarian. They can provide you with valuable information about your pet's specific needs and help you create a customized plan to help them reach their target weight. Measure their food. One of the most common reasons for pets being overweight is overfeeding. Make sure to measure your pet's food and follow the recommended serving size based on their weight and activity level. Avoid giving your pet table scraps or human food, which can contribute to weight gain. Provide exercise opportunities. Exercise is essential for your pet's overall health and can also help them achieve their ideal weight. Make sure your pet gets regular exercise opportunities such as walks, runs, or playtime. You can also engage in interactive play with your pet, such as playing fetch or using puzzle toys to keep them active. Monitor their weight. Regularly monitoring your pet's weight can help you track their progress and adjust their diet and exercise routine accordingly. Weigh your pet regularly and keep a record of their weight to help you stay on track. Choose a high-quality diet. Feeding your pet a high-quality diet is essential for their overall health and can also help them achieve their ideal weight. Look for pet food that is specifically formulated for weight management and is made with high-quality ingredients. Limit treats. Treats are an important part of pet ownership, but they should be given in moderation. Choose healthy, low-calorie treats and limit their intake to avoid contributing to weight gain. Consider a weight loss program. If your pet is significantly overweight or has health issues related to their weight, consider enrolling them in a weight loss program. These programs are designed to provide customized diets, exercise plans, and regular monitoring to help your pet achieve their ideal weight in a safe and healthy manner. In conclusion, maintaining a healthy weight is essential for the overall well-being of our pets. By following these tips, you can help your furry friend achieve their ideal weight and live a happy, healthy life. Remember to always consult with your veterinarian before making any changes to your pet's diet or exercise routine. Consulting with a veterinarian is a crucial step in helping your pet reach their ideal weight. Your veterinarian can assess your pet's overall health and determine their ideal weight based on factors such as breed, age, and body composition. They can also help you create a safe and effective weight loss plan that takes into account your pet's individual needs and any underlying health conditions. In addition to working with a veterinarian, there are several things you can do at home to help your pet achieve their ideal weight. Monitor portion sizes. Overfeeding is a common cause of obesity in pets. 
Make sure you are measuring your pet's food accurately and adjusting portion sizes as needed. Choose a high-quality diet. A high-quality diet that is rich in nutrients and low in calories can help your pet feel full while still providing the energy they need. Increase exercise. Regular exercise is essential for maintaining a healthy weight. Make sure your pet is getting enough physical activity by taking them on daily walks or providing plenty of opportunities for play. Limit treats. Treats are a common source of extra calories. While it's important to reward your pet with treats occasionally, make sure you are not overdoing it. Monitor progress. Keep track of your pet's weight and progress towards their goal weight. This can help you adjust your approach as needed and ensure that you are on the right track. By working with your veterinarian and following these tips, you can help your pet achieve their ideal weight and live a happier, healthier life. One of the most important steps to helping your dog or cat reach their ideal weight is to measure their food. Many pet owners often guess at how much to feed their pets, which can lead to overfeeding and weight gain. By measuring their food and following the feeding instructions on the bag or can, you can ensure that your pet is getting the appropriate amount of food for their size and activity level. You can use a measuring cup or a kitchen scale to measure out your pet's food. It's also important to note that treats should be factored into their daily calorie intake. You can use low-calorie treats or even vegetables, like baby carrots or green beans, as a healthy alternative to traditional treats. Additionally, it's important to avoid free feeding, which means leaving food out all day for your pet to graze on. This can lead to overeating and weight gain. Instead, offer your pet regular meals throughout the day, such as two or three smaller meals, depending on their age and activity level. Finally, it's important to adjust your pet's food intake and feeding schedule as needed. If you notice that your pet is losing weight too quickly or not making progress towards their ideal weight, consult with your veterinarian to determine if adjustments need to be made to their diet or feeding schedule. Regular weigh-ins and checkups with your veterinarian can also help track your pet's progress and ensure that they are on the right track towards a healthy weight. To help your dog or cat reach their ideal weight, providing regular exercise opportunities is crucial. Just like humans, animals need physical activity to maintain a healthy weight and stay fit. Depending on your pet's age, breed, and health condition, the type and amount of exercise they need may vary. For dogs, taking them for a walk or run is an excellent way to get them moving. Aim to provide at least 30 minutes of exercise daily, and gradually increase the duration and intensity as your pet becomes more fit. You can also try playing fetch or tug of war to keep them active and engaged. For cats, providing opportunities to play and climb is essential. Cat toys such as feather wands or balls can encourage your cat to run and jump. You can also create a climbing area with cat trees or shelves. Providing a scratching post can also help encourage physical activity. In addition to these activities, there are other ways to incorporate exercise into your pet's routine. As pet owners, we all want to ensure our furry friends are happy and healthy. However, just like humans, cats can experience stress and anxiety, which can impact their overall well-being. Fortunately, there are several ways to help reduce stress in cats and provide them with a more comfortable and calming environment. Provide a safe and comfortable space. Cats need their own personal space where they can retreat when they feel overwhelmed or stressed. This space should be equipped with comfortable bedding, toys, and scratching posts. It's important to ensure that this space is quiet and away from any sources of noise or disturbance. Play and exercise. 
cats need regular play and exercise to maintain their physical and mental health. Engaging in playtime and providing opportunities for exercise can help reduce stress and anxiety in cats. Laser pointers, toys with feathers or strings, and puzzle toys are all great options for playtime. Encouraging your cat to climb, jump, and run with a cat tree or play tunnel can also provide them with exercise and mental stimulation. Provide a balanced diet. A balanced diet is essential for a cat's overall health and well-being. Providing a well-balanced and nutritious diet can help reduce stress and anxiety in cats. Additionally, providing smaller, more frequent meals throughout the day can help to prevent hunger-related stress. Litter box maintenance. Cats are very particular about their litter boxes, and a dirty or smelly box can cause stress and anxiety. Regular litter box cleaning and maintenance can help reduce stress in cats. Providing multiple litter boxes in different locations can also help provide cats with more options and reduce competition for access. Use pheromone products. Pheromone products, such as Fellaway, can help reduce stress and anxiety in cats. These products mimic the pheromones that cats release when they feel safe and secure, creating a calming effect. Fellaway is available in a spray, diffuser, or collar and can be a helpful tool in reducing stress in cats. Massage Just like humans, cats can benefit from massage therapy. Massage can help reduce tension and anxiety in cats, and can be a great way to bond with your pet. Gentle, slow strokes can be used to massage your cat's neck, back, and legs. It's important to watch for signs of discomfort or overstimulation and to stop if your cat becomes agitated. Keep calm and carry on. Cats are very perceptive to their owner's moods and energy levels. Maintaining a calm and relaxed atmosphere can help reduce stress and anxiety in cats. Avoid sudden movements, loud noises, and overwhelming stimuli around your cat. Staying calm and relaxed can help your cat feel safe and secure in their environment. In conclusion, reducing stress and anxiety in cats can be achieved through providing them with a safe and comfortable space, regular play and exercise, a balanced diet, litter box maintenance, pheromone products, massage therapy, and a calm and relaxed environment. By incorporating these strategies into your cat's routine, you can help ensure their overall health and happiness. One way to reduce stress in your cat is to make sure they are getting plenty of play and exercise. Cats are naturally active creatures, and providing them with opportunities to play and move around can help them burn off excess energy and reduce their stress levels. There are a variety of different toys and games you can use to engage your cat in play. Some cats love chasing laser pointers, while others prefer toys they can bat around, like ping pong balls or toy mice. You can also try providing your cat with a scratching post or climbing tree, which will allow them to engage in more natural feline behaviors. In addition to play, you should also make sure your cat is getting plenty of exercise. This can be as simple as providing them with opportunities to run and jump around the house, or you can take them outside for a walk on a leash or harness. Just make sure to always supervise your cat during outdoor activities to ensure their safety. By providing your cat with plenty of opportunities for play and exercise, you can help them reduce their stress levels and lead a happier, healthier life. A balanced and nutritious diet is essential for the physical and mental well-being of cats. A lack of essential nutrients or an imbalanced diet can lead to stress, illness, and other health problems. Providing your cat with a high-quality, complete, and balanced diet is crucial in reducing stress levels. You can opt for commercial cat food that is formulated to meet all the nutritional requirements of cats. 
However, you can also prepare a homemade diet for your cat using high-quality ingredients such as lean meat, fish, eggs, vegetables, and fruits. It's essential to consult with your veterinarian before changing your cat's diet to ensure that it's balanced and meets their nutritional needs. Additionally, ensure that your cat has access to clean and fresh water at all times. Dehydration can lead to stress and other health problems. Provide a safe and comfortable environment. A safe and comfortable environment can help reduce stress levels in cats. Ensure that your cat has a cozy and comfortable bed to rest and sleep. Additionally, provide a clean litter box that is easily accessible and in a quiet and private location. Create a designated area for your cat's food and water bowls, and ensure that it's clean and free from any distractions. Cats are sensitive to noise, so ensure that their environment is quiet and calm. You can also create a designated play area for your cat with toys and scratching posts. This will not only keep them entertained but also provide an outlet for their natural behaviors. Regular Vet Visits Regular vet visits are crucial in monitoring your cat's health and detecting any potential health problems early. A sick or injured cat can be stressful for both the cat and the owner. Regular checkups can help catch any potential health issues early, ensuring that your cat receives the necessary treatment. Additionally, regular vaccinations and parasite prevention are crucial in keeping your cat healthy and stress-free.